So I mentioned that we teach leadership skills. And at Knowles, uh, we don't believe that the person with the longest uh, college education or highest uh, degrees or best paid job is necessarily the best leader. Uh, we believe that leadership is something you can learn. Um, I truly believe that one of the best leaders is the person who after a long, tough day still has good energy, can help the other expedition members to put up their tents or organize the gear, start the stove and cook a great meal, right? So, uh, mm. so when we say that we teach leadership skills, it's not just experience and what actually happens, it's actually also classes. So we have sit down and listen to me type of classes. And then we have another topic that's called expedition behavior. And I think that's what people don't recognize that they're going to learn most. I mean, it is great fun to just be outside and go sea kiking all day long. And you see fun things splashing around you, orcas or seals or or you see a moose swim by, or in Alaska, you might see bears on the shore, or traveling through the wilderness is its own spectacular, enjoyable thing. And everyone comes because leadership is in our name, and they know they're going to learn the technical skills. But the topic that we call expedition behavior, people don't really think about and expedition behavior is basically group dynamics. There will be conflict. You're not going to love everyone every day on the trip. There's going to be conflict, and you need to solve the conflict. If a trip is just a week, you know, I can put behind me the irritating thoughts that, oh, it drives me crazy every time he does this, Arr! you know, whatever, whatever. And, oh, I can't believe he just ate all the Snickers. I mean, mm -hmm. I wanted a Snicker bar today and now they're all gone and you ate them. I can put that behind me yeah. and uh, not deal with it and that's okay. And then I go home. But if you're out on several week long trips, you rely on each other. You have to trust each other. You have to create respect for each other. You don't have to love each other for life, but you need to work together. So uh, group dynamics, how do I function in the group? What am I doing that drives people crazy? How do we uh, handle these conflicts? How do we move on? How do we create respect and trust and, and care for one uh, and another? Um, so that's a big topic, and uh, that's a a topic that we both uh, do uh, classes on and that we just experience and learn from every day. It could Whoa. be that we do debriefs every afternoon when we come to camp, either self-reflection debrief, just me and my thoughts, or it could be a, a peer, our tent group reflection debrief, or it can be the large expedition, all 15 people do a debrief together and get to chat on what happened today. How do we deal with it? What did we learn? How do we move on? Mm -hmm. What are we going to do tomorrow? Yeah. Context matters. Dialogue is important. The context for this clip is a podcast episode. You can access that conversation at the link in the description. If you are interested in similar content, follow us on our platforms. If you would like to support us in creating content, you can contribute by giving us your feedback or support. You will also find links to these in the description. Thank you for stopping by.